Hey everybody, welcome back to my 30 Days to Die series. It is the morning of day 60. So yesterday I spent driving around, if you have a look at the map here, I was trying to find another trader uh, and did a lot of driving, a lot of back roads. Um, I ran into the edge of the map a couple times, uh, took a lot of damage. Um, I didn't know what, I didn't know, I, at first I didn't know what was going on. I started, where is it, right here, I, I started driving off the map um, and then slightly down here. Uh, yeah, right down here actually is the edge of the map too. I started taking damage going down the street, believe it or not. Uh, so yeah, anyway, um, discovering the edge of the map was not fun. Um, but, uh, yeah, I was not able to locate another trader anywhere. Um, did find another football field up here. Uh, what else did I find? There was another, uh, yeah, another, uh, um, Poppin' Pills Hospital. Um, I tried to stay out of the cities as much as I could. As you can see here, I was trying to find all the side roads and go down the side roads and try and find stuff, but nothing seemed to work out. Couldn't find a trader anywhere. I'm sure there's like, they're just like here somewhere. <laughs> you just got to find them. Um, but yeah, no big deal. So that's all I did yesterday, driving around. Um, and what we got going on here now, I've made some more ammo, so... Um, I think we've got all of our yeah this is all of our nine millimeter I made 500 more rounds we went down a fair bit yesterday in the number of rounds we used up um, and I made a new marksman's rifle so we've got a die in here the eight times scope magazine extender which is actually giving us seven rounds instead of five uh, the four grip and the muzzle brake to uh, give us some more stability when we're firing or more recoil reduction um, and a bunch of rounds on us just because we're going to be using this for the horde night tonight um, yeah, so that's that. I didn't make anything else, I don't think. Uh, I melted up all the brass and stuff that I found and made the ammo out of that. Still melting iron. Um, we've got so much iron. Like, it would, there was two lines here at one point. I've kind of used a lot of it up, but there's so much down below still that I haven't dug up. I just kind of stopped at a certain point. Uh, but let's go out back. Actually, you know what? Let's go at the front. Um, we're going to go and have a look around the base here because I heard a lot of spikes being destroyed last night so I'm just going to kind of go out and replace some of them this morning now I think the horde base is ready I don't think we have to worry about anything um, yeah the spikes look pretty good there's going to be a few missing here or there but not much kind of hoping for a couple of screamers to get warmed up on today but yeah not well, I might as well repair while we're out here. Didn't bring any forge iron with me, so I can't make any mistakes like I did before. Uh, what else do we got here? Nothing on this side. I know there was some over here that was damaged. We're going to replace those real quick. Uh, that was from the other day before we left, actually. Um, there's a broken one out here somewhere. Maybe it's the other side. Oh, here it is here. Yeah, it's weird because they uh, the zombies break in and then they kind of follow the barbed wire along, which is strange. I guess because they don't take any damage, well, very little damage from the barbed wire other than slowing them down. So, and one broke in here too. Let's get that in there. Get that fixed. Yeah, so not much. I thought there was going to be a lot more damage. It sounded like a lot more. Oh, someone came through here. They die pretty quick on these things too, so. Another one broken. Come on. Gotta work on the hitbox in these things. Okay. Looks like this side is pretty much fine. The screamers mostly come from the front here. And then they decide to walk up the ramp and fall in. Oh, we got a deer. Really? Not that we need the meat, but we're going to walk into my spikes. There we go. We didn't damage any of that. It's nice. Alright, so I'm going to probably just not bother putting these last spikes down. I'll hang on to them for now. Uh, so there really isn't too much to do today. I'm going to go hit up a few of these buildings around here. Um... 
clear out some of the zombies. And not that it matters. I mean, they're not going to really do anything to us, to us tonight. Actually, you know what? Let's forget about uh, putting these spikes back. I don't have to worry about it too much. Let's see how many of these guys we can take out of here. Did we go in? We didn't go in this door, did we? Yeah, he's still alive. One, two, and three. Oh, they came out this way last time, right? Right. Now, there's no safe in this. I'm not going to bother hitting up this stuff. Hey, what's up, buddy? There's five of them in there. Kind of a businessman's office party or something. Okay, got a few guys outside. Let's take this guy out first. And let's take this guy out. Let's take this guy out. Uh, maybe not. There we go. And right up Main Street. Oh. His asteroid is really hurt now. Oh, everything right in the butt. Groin shot. Ah, eh, not quite. Not really worried about using too much steel arrow or steel ammo. It's so easy to make. Okay, we got another guy outside here. We're gonna clear out the outside first, I think. Trying to get some more experience. I was gonna put in uh, some of my XP into, uh, or my levels into, um, taking stuff for the trader to get better deals, but I'm doing that with my other series, so. Okay, now last time we were in these places we had Whoops. Well, that wasn't too bad. I was going to say we had uh, um, crawlers. What were they? What are they called again? I can't even remember now. Too busy doing this. Spider zombies. Yes, thank you. Thank you, everyone that's yelling at the screen right now. Spider zombies, you moron. All right. Um, let's get this building on the right. Actually, you know what? Let's finish this one up on the left here. I was going to take a uh, bonus to sneak and everything, but I never did that. I ended up doing um, maxing out my healing. So now when I heal, it's like 100% more effective. Whoop. Can't back up fast enough from that guy. Okay. Getting tired. Yeah, there's day 60 nice and red now. Yeah, all right. Not afraid of, not afraid of using these guys up because we picked up uh, oh, that's nice. We picked up um, 10 of them yesterday at the trader for a quest reward. Okay, we got uh, what? 3 left. Thank you for keeping my arrow. Now, where is the... Oh, here we go. 
Really? Wow. Scrap that for the ammo. See if we can handle this place with the bat. The military armor is definitely nice. I mean, it's not as good as steel armor. I do have steel armor made. Um, chest armor, leg, arm, um, and foot armor. That's a football player if I've ever seen one. That's a dead football player if I've ever seen one. Does it as he's jumping off? That's probably it. Nope. It's Mo. Is he crazy Mo? No, it's just sauntering Mo. Crazy sauntering Mo. Okay, got that one. Now, I think there's no... I think it's these last two buildings that have the safes now. Pretty sure. Yeah, so... The Horde Night tonight, I'm not expecting it to be tough. Unfortunately. But that's what happens when you're doing 7 Days to Die. You don't... Or when you're doing 30 Days. Um, you don't get as many zombie kills. Because a Horde every 7 nights... Yep, shit, that was bad. <laughs> I was like, damn it, I forgot to reload. I'm caught on something. What am I caught on a fence? Just die already. Oops, missed. Shit, she got that all over me, too. Damn it all. Let's get my maximum health up. I'm getting these little laggy spikes, and I have no idea why. I got nothing running in the background. That's the thing. Oh. She looks like the girl from, uh, or the guy from um, Blair Witch Project. And now she's like dead like them. I guess there's only one other safe in this bu this uh, building complex. Alright, well, let's go check it out. I should probably loot this whole place. Just in case. You might find some more uh, stuff in the mailboxes and stuff. I don't know if this guy's crazy or not. Yep, he is. It's full of crazy skater dudes. Making me use up my ammo before hard night, buddy. Not very nice. Not very nice. Alright, let's go check this place. I think we're good now. Yep. Alright, I'm going to loot this, this uh, joint. And I will be back in a second here to show you what we got. Alright, well that's the end of that place. And let's have a look here. Picked up a whole bunch of stuff. Nine bottles of acid, which is awesome. Um, you know, we got the meat from the deer and stuff. One <laughs> Duke Casino token, but we got a steel plating schematic, some glue. Eh, not a lot of other stuff, but, you know, not bad. Not bad for having Lucky Looter 5. Uh, so let's go dump this stuff off. All right, now let's clear out this place here. Wow, look at this. What is up, guys? Thank you for the experience. I leveled up here, too, collecting stuff. Uh, but what is up, guys? Uh, 
Listen to them all hiss at me here. Kazam! Ah, oh, I missed the head. Kachow! It's nice when they're all walkers. I hate it when they're like led by a cop or something. Yeah, the lag spikes. I don't understand why. We got another guy joining us from down there, too. I think I got boom headshot at three or four. Ooh, that's nice. Ooh, level six shotgun. Okay, we can sell that. Ooh, knocked your ass out. Got another guy over here. I'm not getting that much experience from these guys, but every little bit counts. Ah, that guy went down fast. All right, let's go in here. Just gonna. Okay. She's not a runner, I don't think. Just watching for irradiated zombies. Wow. That it? Uh, just the one? What the? Uh. Okay, nothing up the Oh yeah, there, there's the uh, safe. Now I think I already cleaned this safe out. Right? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of ammo. A little bit of ammo. So this A time scope is like pretty friggin' nice. Got to say, it's too bad I'm a lousy shot. See if you can find somebody here. No, we're going to have to find a better place to uh, find some people. Alright, let's clear this out. Nothing in there. So we've been through here recently, I think. Maybe? I don't know. I can't believe there's only one zombie in here. Empty. Well, at least the safe had stuff in it. All right, nothing down here, eh? Like, that's pretty darn good range. Too bad it's raining out to really see that. That might be too much for me, though. That might be too high of uh, a zoom ratio for me. Maybe the 6 to 1 is probably better for me. Got to keep grabbing eggs, man. I'm starting to run out of bacon and eggs. But we can make other stuff. We can make meat stew and stuff. So I'm not really worried about it. Um, we got a guy over here. Let's see if we can get him to come out. Free nails will take him. Oh, what do we got here? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, for crap's sake. Okay, I'm gonna deal with you with this bat. Over here, buddy. Dumbass. And then we're gonna shoot the Mr. Monsieur Construction Worker. Oh man. Well, you wake everybody up with this, but sure as hell is fun. Hey, everybody's awake now. All right, let's do this, guys. Oh, she did a backflip. I got one more round, I think.
They're wrecking this place. So I was thinking about doing, I don't know, at some point in time, maybe doing a Seven Days to Die series where it's just like the first day and where like places to choose and what to what to grab. Like what buildings to, to uh whoop, use as your own base. Ooh. I feel sorry for her. That was it for him, eh? Oh god. I'm loving this gun now. Yeah, we got to put a silencer on it. I've only got one though, so I got to keep it on the SMG. We're either going to have to buy one or find a schematic from somewhere. Yeah, I know I said this series coming to, to an end after tonight, but I will be playing at my spare time. Once I get that silencer. Ow! Put her out of her misery. Like, yeah, once I get, uh... Maybe we go in here. Once I get, um... The second silencer, I'll show you how it works. Alright. I know I could just switch it over, but... I don't want to do that right now. Anybody? Oh, we got guys in here now. Getting hazmats now. I'm not sure why these guys show up later in the game. Because they're not really that dangerous. Uh, even the running guys seem to be like not very dangerous at all. So I don't know whether they maybe have an increased chance of uh, of um, giving you the uh, infection or not. Main Street! Alright, sit for you guys. Let's see what we got in here. Yeah. Oh, five repair kits and bicycle handlebars. Made a ravioli. Hold on, nothing. The five repair kits was nice, though. I mean, we got like, what? I don't know, like 14 or 15 of them at home. Don't really need them. How we doing here? Got a bit of room for some other stuff. Now, if I had an extra rad remover, it'd be interesting to try and put it in the bat and see if we can take down a uh, a radiated zombie with just a bat. Okay. trick about these places is you just never know. Who's going to be home? Shh. Okay, she was home. Now she's not. That's it, huh? Alright, well. Caffy. Let's switch over. Pickaxe. Don't ever forget to take these guys. I made a mistake in one of the earlier episodes. I said they were worth, uh, let's just scrap this. I said they were worth, um, 
a hundred uh, brass down there were 25 so a little bit different than a hundred okay so that's all cleared out nothing maybe not wander around with a pickaxe in my hand now let's take this place out I don't think we've ever been in this one I think we hit up the one over there which we should probably check out too I need more eggs okay we got a yard sleeper see ya getting close to horde night guys or horde time oh crap where'd you come from at least you're not feral Oh, Big Mama, where'd you come from? Maybe you were sleeping around back. I guess so. I thought for a second there we were dealing with another wandering horde. See ya. Well, they're awake, so Let's see if you're popular. Nope, no one likes you. Okay, guys, up here. I'll even give you a hand. Oh, I see what you're done. Oh. Dude, you got it hit in the wrong place here. Wow. Over here, guys. Where I'm making all the noise. Just to walk up. Oh, geez, there's a gun safe in here. I don't think I've ever seen a gun safe in one of these places before. Let's see what we got. Give me some nine mil or some pistols. Two pistols would be nice for another thirty rounds. All right, big bucks, no whammies. Ah, yeah, one pistol. Okay. Eh. Acid? Nope. Now that I know I need to have acid for, um, eh, for military fiber. I never knew that before because I was never ma making any military fiber or military armor. But now that I know that, I've been like scrounging everywhere to try and find it. All right. Let's get in this building. I just want to make sure these, I, I mean, it doesn't really matter on Horde Night, these buildings aren't going to be activated, but if I end up running around, which I probably won't, oh, Big Mama's in there. Alright. Mono is ombo. I just got these ammo. Damn it. God damn zombies. Yeah, it's Melium. Nice of you to hold my arrow. Oh, she's angry. So just you in here? Looks like it. Oh, two more acid, nice. Ah, 17 rounds, I can't complain now. Oh, backpack. Some salmon, which we can't do anything with. So just leave it behind, because it's probably just going to give me food poison anyway. Alright, let's get home and drop this shiz off. Yeah, it's nice that now that, like, I've got my, uh, 
my uh, pack mule turned up or cranked up here can actually just uh, quickly move through with a full backpack full of stuff all right empty this stuff out all right got a little bit of time left over uh, I better not leave that door open it's hard night I'm sure I'll get a rude surprise if I leave that door open all right, let's go in here. I think this place was cleared out earlier this week. Oh, no, we got some people. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, two for two. That's it, huh? Yeah, I see the loot won't be bad. Oh! Just spoke too soon. That's empty. Wrench that. That's empty. And the nest is empty. Alright, well that's cleared out. So it looks like we're good. I'm not taking that building on. Not at uh, 5.30. Okay, we got a little bit of time before the horde shows up. So I am going to get myself prepped. Uh, and I will meet you guys out in the horde base just before horde night. Uh, I'm not going to do anything else today. We should get a fair amount of experience tonight. I'm hoping. And I'm hoping no one spawns in our base. So, uh, actually, before we do anything else, um, uh, the last video I watched uh, Glock9 do, he was saying the land claim block, uh, when he read up on it, doesn't actually do anything to stop zombies from spawning. Now, my thought on that, because we've been in this fortification for quite some time now, and nothing has respawned in here um, that was here before. So I'm not coming back to the church and finding zombie spawns. I think what's actually happening, it's not necessarily that the, it stops the zombies from spawning. I think what it does is it stops the respawns from happening. So anybody that was would have spawned originally in this building won't respawn here. However, um, that being said, I, I have a feeling um, that mobs can spawn with inside like inside the boundaries that's just my guess so because originally there was it was supposed to strengthen your uh, defenses within the within the boundaries of this against other players so um, but yeah anyway I'm gonna harvest these crops and I'll meet you guys at the uh, at the horde base all right guys we are in the horde base now we got a little bit of time before we start here but we got a couple of Walkers, way the shiz out there. Ooh, I hit him. I killed him. This is awesome. Now all we need is... Uh, I should have brought the night vision goggles. But we're doing okay. With just the scope at, at, uh, at night time. Anything over here? Doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. It's all quiet in the western front here. Alright, so the lighting is like nice and ominous without my helmet light and the uh, this thing turned on. So let's get our gen well, we need a generator on yet. But yeah, it's we're pretty darn close. So as I was saying uh, earlier, uh, Glock 9 says that, you know, the uh, land claim block doesn't prevent res or pre prevent spawns. I think I would agree, but I would change it to, it doesn't, pre it doesn't prevent spawns, but it does prevent respawns. Because like I said, I have not had any mobs in the 60 days I've played this game or respawn inside this building. Not one. Now I have had wandering hordes spawn in the wall. We had our horde spawn the wall. I've had random mobs spawn inside the wall, but never a uh, a respawn because they would be all downstairs. But uh, not one had spawned in. I'm loving this scope now. Can you tell? So I think I might open up with this one. We'll have a lot of light here, and it's the only problem is the bars are in a really bad spot. So since we don't have to worry about noise, I'm just going to like, I don't know, 
maybe get into here. I don't know. I don't want to be too well. The bars, I shouldn't have to worry about them hitting me through the bars because there's two sets of bars here, right? One on the outside and one on the inside. So one in this block and one on the outside block. So, yeah, I'm thinking that if even if they try and jump across, they're going to slide right down into the spikes. I, I really hope they go for this base because if they don't go for that, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. They're going to knock all this down. I'll have to go outside and fight them outside somehow. But we'll see how it goes. I can always retreat back to the other base too. All right, 50 minutes. I'm going to turn the light off because uh, these Blood Moon, uh, the lights of the Blood Moon are pretty nice, got to say. Like, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, the one thing I think this game is missing is other survivors besides the traders. So, for instance, you come across a... Uh, a survivor camp and maybe there's two or three people in there uh, one guy might be able to trade with you some minor stuff uh, and then one guy can give you some random quests to clear out some buildings around the area I think that would be kind of neat but if you stick around where they are during horde night or during the evenings there's a chance that they could die to, uh, to zombies so you don't want to hang around too much All right. Oh, so this. Oh, you know what? So when you do this, it drains stamina. Right. The longer you hold on to the scope, it drains stamina. But uh, yeah. But the marksman ability. Uh, let's do a quick look at the skills here. If you go to uh, perception, the dead eye ability. Successive kills with one shot increases. Oh, that's not it. Uh, Kill streak. That's not it. Where does it? Where is it here? Is it boom headshot. No, oh, one of these. Yeah. So automatic weapons, which I'm assuming the sniper rifle would be considered that, probably. Unless it's this here. Yeah. This I guess isn't. So automatic weapons. You get uh, you get some stamina back. With each each shot scored with automatic weapons, it gives you seven stamina. That should be back on on the uh, on dead eye I think with rifles increases damage bonus yeah see I would put I think I would put the stamina up on this one because you want to be hiding when you're fire when you're firing your your rifle or your shotgun or your sniper rifle All right okay right, here it comes here they come let's see how this base does. Oh, here they come. So it is working. How am I missing you? Oh. Now, did she? Oh, she did. Alright, let's deal with her. Should have put the rad remover in this. Look at it, it's shredding them. This is working like a charm. Now you definitely get less experience this way. Uh, 
All right. Look at you guys. All right, so this is wave two. So this is a much better horde than we had the first time. I should have put them on different switches. Let's turn this off for a second. So that's causing, the darts are causing a major frame uh, lag. That's a lot of zombies. Let's spin them out a bit. Okay, they are working on it down here. This is a heck of a lot more than I thought we'd have. But then again, I do have it set to 64, so... This thing is made out of solid concrete, so... The chance of them actually breaking through it is pretty small. Come on, Mo. Get up. Okay, so we got a bird. And a screamer somewhere. Oh, here he is. You're not a screamer, a crawler. Oh, reload. I see ya. I'll leave that on. Okay, so we did not burn through. Come on, buddy. Ah, this is the job for this. Ah, of course. Wow, they just exploded. 
I think that's it. I think that is it, my friends. Well, that was fun. So those all got destroyed. All my spikes got destroyed. I was kind of expecting that anyway. Those ones didn't. So they were really staying to the right here. How much ammo do we have left? Like, tons. Over half. We use like 40% of our ammo. So let's just uh, repair this. All right, we can turn this off now. Oop, off. It's all quiet in the Western Front. So could you imagine what a 90 day horde would be like? Uh, let's go outside. See the shadows. Really? Is that it? See any more shadows? You only got one loot bag too, eh? Ow. And the damage we take from the... Oh god, 446. The damage we take from the horde is not from the horde. It's actually from my own barbed wire. Okay, they took out one block. Yeah, I didn't really make this proper... I could have made it a lot better. So we lost almost all the barbed wire on this side, and that was probably from me shooting, most likely. And they can jump across here, so they think they can get to you. Do we have, I don't have my hammer on me, do I? No, I have a wrench, though. I can detect how much damage. So these bars barely took any damage at all. The blocks, barely anything. And most of it is probably from me. Uh, what do they do here? A little bit of block damage on the sides. My guess is that these were from the, uh... They took out... Okay, they got some... They were beating on this a little bit. Wow, they hit that one pretty good. They broke out one block here, but like I said, this is all solid. So they can smash on this all they want, and they're just not going to bring it down. Just not going to happen. So, they really didn't do that much damage. Yeah, I mean, this is so easy to fix. It's just coming around with a little bit of concrete, which I got tons of. Didn't need to retreat, which was awesome. Yeah, man, that was good. That worked out well. Now, I think the only thing that we need to do for next time is that tunnel needs to be longer. And I think, yeah, longer. And I think we made these make these sides slightly wider. Because they're going to have a fair number next time, that's for sure. On day 90, it's going to be a lot of guys. I'm going to have to have a lot of ammo. So I'm going to have to do a lot of mining, get a lot of... Um, um, is it gypsum? Not gypsum. Whatever. We need coal. That's easy to get from the burnt forest. I mean, yeah, it's doable. It's the brass that we would need to get. So we'd have to buy a lot. I'd have to find the traders, buy a lot of um, ammo and casings, I think, from the traders. Um, nobody spawned in the base this time, which is awesome. So let's figure out what we what we used up here. So we used about 400 round, dart rounds per, which isn't much, because a dart round is like two iron and one clay, if I'm correct in this. In this uh, I think it's called iron dart, yeah. So it's three iron and one clay. So we use 1,600 darts, roughly roughly 1,600. So times three is, uh, what, 4,800, which is each one of these is 6,000 iron. 
So we didn't even use up one stack of iron on the dart traps. We could have left that going all night, I think. Um, let's put the pills in here. Uh, we did use a full stack of ammo plus some, so we used about 500 rounds roughly, and maybe 27.62 rounds. We didn't use a whole lot of those. Uh, picked up a little bit of cash, but not much. But still, that was actually really good for what we used. Uh, the amount of ammo, like one stack of ammo, like the gunpowder is no problem. I got lots of gunpowder. And the nitrate, I found a ton down below. It's getting the coal, which is no problem going out to the burnt forest to get that. So getting the, uh, the gunpowder is easy. But the brass and the lead, I need to find a lead deposit. Because right now, I could make... You know, if I found some more lead, I can make another 800 rounds, which isn't a lot. So I'm going to have to try and save my rounds, I think, if we're going to take this to the next level next time. Let's reload this. I'm liking this, I'm liking this rifle. Uh, it needs to have a, a, a silencer on it, though, for sure. So, yeah, um, that's going to be the end of the 60 days. Now, like I said, um, this is kind of like the end of the series. I'll probably be playing this in my spare time. And when I get to day 90, uh, I'll post again. Uh, but I might post interim if I do if I decide to uh, go into um, some of the other POIs and check them out, see how they play. Most likely, I'm probably going to do try the military bunker, and I'll record that one. Um, that's the missile silo. We'll try that one out, see how it goes. Now that our game stage is up a little higher, uh, if we go here, so 253. We were 248, I think, when we started this. 1671 zombie kills, not too bad. Uh, level 114. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes next time. Um, and I'll try and get a lot more um, gypsum. Sorry, what is this called? Nitrate powder. I keep thinking it's, I keep calling it gypsum, but whatever. Nitrate powder. Powder. Um, okay, so that will be the end of this. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, if you've got any comments of how I should switch that base up for the next time, um, feel free. I think those, having those um, dart traps firing directly into the horde, well, it, it gets rid of a lot of your experience. Um, it still is uh, a great way just to thin them out. They were really th packed thickly in there, and they were landing on the other side and standing and hitting the, our side. As soon as I turned them on, it just cleared them off there and just thinned that horde out really, really fast. Now, the darts don't do a lot of damage, but they do fire quickly. So and when you have one top and bottom, and you're hitting the guy in the legs and the chest at the same time, you know, they go down pretty fast, especially the normal zombies. Um, yeah. All right, so if you liked the episode, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Drop any comments. And until next time, we'll see you later.